Hi, today we are going to be going over the steps of how to complete each activity that you will find in your Dino Day Kit. Inside your kit, you can expect to find three model magic packets, one binder sheet with three templates inside, one bag of flour, one bag of salt, one paintbrush, one Dino Egg Kit, one elastic string, two toothpicks, two magnets, one paint pod, one red mini brush, one instructional packet, and some dinosaur goodies. Let's get started. First, we are going to recreate some dinosaur bones. Supplies needed for this activity will be two packets of model magic, one binder sheet with the templates titled Ornithischian and Sauruschian, pelvis facing outwards, two magnets, one paint pod, and a paintbrush. We are going to start with the Ornithischian template. You can see on the paper what the shape of it looks like and where it would be located in the dinosaur. Go ahead and open one of the model magic packets and separate it into halves. Take one half of the model magic and start forming the shape of the top portion of the bone that you see on your template. You don't have to use the entire packet of model magic if you don't want to or need to. You can go ahead and take one of the toothpicks that is provided in the kit and use it to help you create the shape that you want. Once you are done with the top half, go ahead and set it to the side. Now, let's go ahead and start on the bottom half of the bone. Grab the other half of your model magic and start using it to begin creating the shape of the lower half of the bone that you see on the template, which should be labeled Sorosian. Once you are ready to create the two holes that you see in the bone, you can use the toothpick to help you or just use your hands. Once you are done making the shape that you desire, go ahead and grab the top half of the bone and begin to connect the two pieces together. Pinch the model magic together in the areas that are being connected. And if you have any extra, you can go ahead and use this to reinforce the areas that are being connected. Make any desired final touches and once completed, go ahead and set the bone aside and allow to sit and dry for at least 72 hours. Now, let's go ahead and start the second dinosaur bone. Grab your binder sheet and flip it over to the other side that shows the Sorcherian template. It should show you how the bone is shaped and where it can be found inside the dinosaur. Go ahead and grab the second pack of Model Magic. Now, for this one, I went ahead and just completed the bone in one piece. You have the option of creating the bone in one whole piece or completing the bone in two separate pieces like the previous one. Now go ahead and start forming the Model Magic into the shape that you see on the template.
You can go ahead and grab the toothpick and use it to help shape all the different curves that can be found with this bone. Go ahead and grab your toothpick again and use it to start forming the hole in the center of the bone that you see. Make any desired final touches and once completed, go ahead and set the bone aside and allow to sit and dry for at least 72 hours. All right, now that we have waited 72 hours, our bones should be dry enough to paint. Grab the paint pod and paint brush. You may want to do this on a surface that you don't mind getting dirty and grab some paper towels as well, just in case. You are more than welcome to start painting any of the two. I'm going to start with the ornithischian bone. Open your paint pod and grab your paintbrush and begin painting. I used little sections of paint and spread that across the bone until once I ran out of paint to spread. Without adding any more paint to the brush, you can also go ahead and use it to smudge the paint that is already on the bone, giving it a weathered look. This gave it a just dug out of the dirt look. This is your project though, so feel free to make it how you want it. Once you are done with painting the front and sides of the bone, go ahead and set it to the side and allow it to dry. Once the paint on the bone is dry, you're going to take the bones and flip them upside down. Now, you're going to take one of the magnets and peel off the white covering to reveal the adhesive part of the magnet. Make sure you pick a spot on the center of the bone to stick the magnet. Once you've picked the right spot, go ahead and place the sticky part of the magnet onto the bone and press down tightly but gently to make sure the magnet sticks on the bone. Now, grab the second magnet and do the same thing for the second bone. And once done, you've got magnetic decorative dinosaur bones. Now let's get started on making cookie fossils. Just a quick warning, these cookies are not meant to be eaten. They most likely won't taste very yummy. And there is a bag of flour for this activity, so anybody that has a gluten allergy, please proceed with caution. Adult supervision and help will be needed for this one. Materials needed for this activity are half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of salt, one plastic dinosaur, and one plastic dinosaur skeleton. Let's get started. First thing with adult supervision, set the oven to 250 degrees. Grab your bowl, warm water, bag of flour, and bag of salt. Start by grabbing the bag of flour and dumping it into the bowl. 
Then take your bag of salt and dump that into the bowl as well. I hesitated because it looked like too much salt, but it's not, so go ahead and just dump it all in. Now grab your spoon to mix the ingredients together, or if you're like me, you can just use your hands. Grab your water and for this one, you want to make sure to add a little by a little into the bowl while you, you use your hands or spoon to mix. This is not the texture you're looking for, so go ahead and add a little more water and continue to mix. Not quite there yet, so add a little bit more water and mix. We're getting there a little bit more water and mix. Yes, perfect. This is the texture we are looking for. Now continue mixing and as you mix, use the dough to pick up any of the residue off the side of the bowl. This is the result that you're looking for. Now go ahead and separate the dough into four sections about this size. Now take each piece and roll it up into a little ball. Once rolled up, go ahead and take the ball and use your hand and a flat surface to push the dough into a flat circle, like so. Now, Take your plastic dinosaur and place it on top of the dough and press it into the dough firmly and gently lift the dinosaur from the dough. You should be left with an imprint like this one. Once done, go ahead and place the cookie onto your baking sheet or baking pan. You're going to repeat the process with the three other sections of dough that you've separated. Go ahead and try to recreate different types of fossils, such as I did, using the feet of the dinosaur to make an imprint on the dough, to replicate a trace fossil. Once all your fossil cookies are done, have an adult take the baking sheet and place it in the oven. Continuously check the fossil cookies and remove from the oven once they are hard. Set aside and allow the cookies to cool. With our next activity, we are going to be recreating dinosaur teeth. Supplies needed for this activity will be one model magic pack, the plastic binder sheet with the dinosaur teeth template showing, toothpicks, and elastic string. Now, let's go ahead and start by opening up our pack of model magic and go ahead and begin to separate it into four pieces. If you would like for the teeth to be smaller or larger, you can go ahead and separate it depending on the size that you want. Now, you have four dinosaurs to choose from on the template. Feel free to start on whichever one you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and start on the Triceratops. 
Use the tooth on the template as an example and begin to shape and add a texture that would best resemble the dinosaur tooth you picked. I went ahead and used the toothpick to help me add texture and shape the tooth. Now, once you're done forming the tooth, depending on whether or not you would like to make a bracelet or a necklace, you can make a hole towards the bottom center of the tooth to insert the elastic string through. Once you're done, go ahead and set it to the side and start on the next one. I'm going to go ahead and do the Velociraptor next. For this one, you want to make sure to use the toothpick to create a serrated edge on the tooth. Just as the Velociraptor would have had. You're going to do the same thing for the other two dinosaur teeth. And once you're done, make sure you allow 72 hours for each tooth to dry. Now for the next activity, dinosaur egg dig. The supplies provided for this one can all be found in your bag and will include one dinosaur egg kit, one chisel and one small brush. Now, before you get started on this one, make sure you are doing it on a surface that you wouldn't mind getting a little dirty. As you open the box, you will find the dinosaur egg and a small orange chisel. The egg will be covered in a plastic wrapping, so make sure to go ahead and remove that. If you're ready to go, grab your chisel and begin chiseling away at the dinosaur egg. Remember that paleontologists must be very careful when using tools like this, so make sure you do the same. Chisel little by little, ensuring that you don't damage any dinosaur that is found. If you start to see any evidence of a dinosaur after chiseling, make sure you take some time to grab your brush and try to dust off any dirt to help you see what it is that you may have found. Continue chiseling and brushing. A paleontologist's job isn't easy. Now, as the body of the dinosaur starts to make an appearance, don't forget to brush away any dust that may be covering his body. As you do get closer to the dinosaur body, make sure you chisel very carefully around the dinosaur and don't forget to brush. Once you can easily remove the dinosaur, use your brush to dust off any excess dust that it may have on it.
you can go ahead and rinse the dinosaur off in water once the extra dust has been removed. Now, maybe you can use all of your new paleontologist skills and try to figure out what dinosaur you may have found. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the activities in this kit and that you learned some fun facts about dinosaurs and paleontologists. These kits were made possible through the Helen Divot Jones Foundation. Please share any photos by sending them to us at museum dot education at ttu dot edu and don't forget to tag us on instagram at mottu education